can hear the heartbeat. Myron, careful of the baby now, okay? I would never hurt the baby. Don't be sad, Mama. You still have me. I'm here. I'll always be with you. And always be with you. But you know you're the man of the house now. You have to look after me and the new baby. It's what your daddy would have wanted. Don't worry, Mama. I will. to go to the funeral now. Is your baby brother okay? Yes, Aunt Sylvia. Mama, you said you'd never leave me. Why, Mama, why? What's that? Pull over. You know how I feel about old houses. Too much work. Well, let's just take a look.
bad. How much do you think it's worth? More than we can afford. But if you like it, I'll just work 24 hours a day instead of my usual 18. Would you do that for me? Well, I might. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Don't empty houses do something for you? <laughs> Excuse me. Open. We're house hunting. Oh, boy. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You just, I'm just, uh, I guess I got a little tired. I was moving things, trying to straighten the attic out. Oh, Hatch. Dr. Myron Hatch. Mary Westhill. Pleased to meet you. This is my husband, John. Pleased to meet you. How are you? I live next door. Oh, you own both houses? Yeah. Would you like me to show you around? And this is the, uh, the nursery. Oh, sweet. Just needs a fresh coat of paint. Some curtains. You have any, uh, children? No. No, not yet. Huh. Well, okay, well, let, let, me, let me show you downstairs. Okay. Psst. Baby a secret now? I just don't want to tell everybody. I don't want to jinx this one, too. This baby's going to be just fine. Okay? See, I... I guess I've been neglecting things. Do any gardening? No, but I want to. I've always wanted my own garden. We, uh, we live in an apartment, but, um, she's been practicing with a flower box. Well, she's gonna have plenty of room to practice around here, I'll tell you that. Uh-huh. How big's the lot? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. The lot. How big is it? Oh, it's uh, just about an acre. All right. We'll make an offer. Um, well, we haven't really discussed it. 140? We could put 25 down in cash, and the rest we'd have to borrow. One forty? It's worth a lot more than that. He's considering it, isn't he? <laughs> I guess so. has already turned down a better offer. They're a very lucky couple. I want to thank Larry here because uh, I think he's going to give you more gifts. As long as you've agreed on a price. 140. <laughs> Myron, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you again, Larry. Thank you. Excuse me, sir, can you please hold that from the bottom? Because yeah, there's crystal in there. Don't worry, Mama. They know what they're doing. Morning, Mark. Hi. How's the moving going? Great. They're almost finished. What have we here? What do I see? 
What do I see? Yes, yes, I see you. What's his name? I call him Baby. And I call him Mutt. Your yeah, baby's a better name. Come on. I love dogs. I just, I love them. Come on. Daddy boy, I won't hurt you. Could I look at that? Oh, sure. That might be a rule, am I? No, right? no, it's OK. Thanks. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. I was so nervous that day, I thought I'd be sick. And it's been downhill ever since. Here you go, love. Your beer, Myron. Thank you. Mm. You know what they say? It's only one cure for love, getting married. You ever been down the aisle? No. I never could figure out if I wasted my life or spent too much time in my career. Yeah, I remember when we first met you, you, uh, you called yourself doctor. You're a doctor. Baby dog. Ah, obstetrician. You hear that, Mary? Myron's an obstetrician. Really? Thanks again, Myron. Yeah. And, uh, don't be a stranger. Won't be. Good night. 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 Thanks again. Don't mention it. I didn't mean to let the secret out about the baby. Oh, it's OK. I don't think he got it. Baby! Baby! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. you no, know, I just. Well, the back door was open, you know, and, and I hollered a couple of times, but uh, yeah, I guess you didn't hear me. You all right? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just organizing up here a little, and I guess this stuff belongs to you, huh? Yeah, well, you give me a couple of days, you know, and I'll get it out of here. Oh, there's no rush, unless you need something. Uh, no, there's nothing, you know, that's that important. Oh, 
Too bad I couldn't do this for a living. It's a lot more relaxing than counseling delinquents. Well, you think you're looking for work? No, no, not now. I, um, still have a lot of things around the house I want to fix up, and if I wait for John, it could take years. Yeah, well, I, I guess he's not the greatest handyman in the world, you know? He's a whiz on the computer. Just don't ask him to change a light bulb. Well, listen, if you ever need anything, anything, you know, it'll be my pleasure. Myron, you're a prince. Oh, no, no. I'm very serious. <laughs> Baby, stop. Thanks, Myron. I'm gonna go wash up now. Well, this is it. Hope you like the view. Wonderful. So this is the famous John Westville. <laughs> Maury Emmons, sales. How are you, Maury? Um, what's with the famous? Hey, we're not that far north. We get news up here. You're the brains behind the Logitech's operating system. Surely he can't take all the credit. Oh, Mr. Bishop, this is John Westhill. I know who he is. Uh, Westhill. Yeah, we better take care of business. Uh, see you later, John. I'll see you. Sir, I just, um, I just want to tell you how happy I am to be here and that I'm really looking forward to being part of the, the team. Sure you are, Westhill. I know all about it. Spare me, huh? I beg your pardon? Every so often, somebody in New York thinks he can improve things, so they send us the latest hot shot to try to help us. None of them have been very impressive. Do you think, uh, you think you might be the exception? Well, I'll try. Good, good. And start with this. Our Japanese partners will be here the end of next month to review our progress with Logitech. Why don't you make the presentation? Sir, I just got here. I'll be counting on you, West Hill. I can't believe they've got you bringing home work already. Yep. This boss of yours, what's his name? Bishop. Yes, well, Mr. Bishop is getting more than his money's worth. <laughs> when are you going to pay some attention to me? <laughs> Remember when I said I had to work 24 hours a day instead of my usual 18 if we got this house? Yes. Yes. Well, we got this <laughs> house. <laughs> You're a brat. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> John, did you find the boxes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my self and assistant. Hi, Mary. Hi, Myron. Got you working hard? Well, I want to get a few things stored. Where do you want me to put this? Just up there. Okay. I guess he tricked you into helping, did he? No, I'm too old to be tricked. Don't worry about me. Mary's always worrying about something. You know, it's like when you're pregnant. Congratulations. Thanks. I got a present for you. doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> this was yours? Yep. Well, it's very sweet, thank you. You got a doctor? No, not yet. Um, I hope you won't be offended. I, I'm looking for a female doctor. I've got an associate of mine, a Dr. Statner. She's a great lady. I can make an appointment for you. Oh, that'd be great, thanks.
just you and me. Dr. Statner had to step out on an emergency. You'll be seeing another physician for your prelim. Oh. This way, please. Everything will be fine. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about Dr. Statner, you know. I'll take a look at you now, and then you can make an appointment with her at the end of the week. There's no other doctor? Just me. You jump up on the table there and uh, pull your blouse over your stomach and I'll take a look at you. Give me the coat and your purse. Thanks. How far along are you? 16 weeks. You still get the morning sickness? A little. Are you taking your vitamin supplement? I've been meaning to. No, look, to take it, it's good for you and it's good for the baby. Right? Don't you generally have an assistant for this? Yeah, but we're, uh, we're understaffed right now. Is this your first pregnancy? No. I lost my first one at five months. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, we'll do an ultrasound and check how the baby's doing. Like to know if it's a boy or girl? Oh, no. I, I would prefer the surprise. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, here we go. Here comes a little picture. Yes, here we are. <laughs> you like to hear its heartbeat? Yes. You really hear this? It's really something. Yeah. Listen. Listen to that. <laughs> and that's something. Is that the heart? Yeah, that's the heart. Okay. Is there something wrong? No, 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 no. I was going to give you an amniocentesis because I want to make sure everything's all right. But, but I thought amniocentesis wasn't done un until much later in the term. Oh, well, you got nothing to worry about. I'll take care of you. Just lie back and relax. Nobody's going to hurt you now. Just relax. Go on. Relax. Now, all you're going to feel here, it's going to be a little skin prick, okay? Here we go. There. See? That wasn't much. All right. Now, you don't, uh, you don't want to see this. Okie doke.
That's it. That's fine. <laughs> games there was no emergency they didn't even expect me at the hospital well somebody called from the hospital and said they needed to see you by two o'clock i'm not going back there Did he touch you or hurt you in any way? No, no. It wasn't like that. It was just, um... I don't know, you had to be there. There was something in his eyes. It wasn't right, you know? Something... It was just off. I mean, you know how. I mean, with doctors, sometimes their demeanor is cold. I'm sure that's all it was. Somebody in the hallway. Hmm? What? What is it? There's somebody in the hallway. <sighs> Sweetheart, it's an old house. Old houses make noises, honey. Please go and look. Stay here.
Take him away, Chief. Hey, look, just look John, at this, for God's on. sake. Stop it. Who, who's going to pay for this? Who's going to pay for this? Let me go. Who the hell is going to pay for this, huh? Hey, you. We don't have to look at you. You stop it. Hey. I'm get you and that dog, too. Calm down, calm down. You tried to steal my tape deck. Let the police. Hey. Let the police handle it. Go on back in the house. This is a small town, sir. And we're not used to a lot of that big city nonsense around here. But we will find it. Well, I uh, won't take up any more of your time. I see the old house come back to life again. Problem with these places, if nobody's living in them, they start to fall apart. How long has it been since anyone's lived here? <sighs> Let me see now. Been about two years. Myron inherited the house when his aunt got a little too old to look after things. Well, you folks will be hearing from me. Thanks, Lieutenant Crow. Yeah, thanks. Mary, you're imagining things. It wasn't my imagination last night, John. Somebody was in here. Can we talk about this later? How did he appear so fast? He was out taking a walk. He heard me shouting. At one o'clock in the morning? OK. Why would he come in here? To watch us sleep? Yeah, hello. Oh, hi, Myron. We were just talking about you. Yeah, sure. Just hold on a second. Myron, he just wants to talk to you. See how you doing? Mary, just... I don't want to talk to him. I gotta go to work, please. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Myron. I didn't mean to frighten you yesterday, Mary. But I have to tell you, you know, if... If I had a nickel for every uh, pregnant lady that was afraid of the needle, I'd be a rich man. Yeah, well, I guess I overreacted. But uh, I've decided I'm going to stick with a female doctor from now on. I found someone over at Grant Memorial, so I'll be seeing her from now on. I understand that. You know, a lot of ladies feel that way. That would uh, that would probably be Dr. Wayburn. She's good, and uh, she'll take good care of you. Anyway, listen, don't forget now, you take your uh, vitamin supplement and you take your uh, dry crackers in the morning. They'll make you feel a lot better, OK? OK, well, I have to go. So thanks for calling. Take care. Bye. Fine, thanks. And you? Oh, I'm fine. You better hurry. They're all up there waiting for you. I know. I'm on my way. Rebecca, did you take my presentation package? Never touched it. Anybody come in here and take something from his desk? Nobody's been in here. Well, except for Mr. Bishop. He was looking for you last night as I was leaving. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, here's Mr. Westhill. Morning. Sir, can I talk to you a moment? Excuse us a moment, please. Sir, did you take my presentation package? Of course not. She went into my office after I left last night. What are you trying to say, Westhill? 
You know I can't possibly do this without it. Then you have a problem. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but it appears Mr. Westhill has lost his notes. Now, while he's looking for them, allow me to take over for him. As you know, our new version of the logic test. They loosen up the state funding, we could get more staff and work normal hours in here. So, where were we? Dr. Hatch wanted to perform an amniocentesis. Yes. Isn't 16 weeks a little early? Well, not really. I've performed amniocentesis as early as 18 weeks. In some cases, it could be done a few weeks earlier. Just keep taking those vitamins and stop worrying. You're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Come on, John, cool off. Talk to him tomorrow when you've got it over. I spent three hours thinking it over. I don't want to cool off. That son of a bitch is not gonna get away with this. John, John, John take it easy. John. Why'd you do that to me? You what, West Hill? You intentionally humiliated me. Why? You humiliated yourself, West Hill. You gotta do your homework if you want to get out of this business. Don't push me, Bishop. You understand? <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, Hank, sit down. Bring those two drinks over here. <laughs> I know that idiot took the presentation package from me for the sole purpose of making me look like a fool. He's out to get me, Myron. And there's not a thing I can do about it. Just don't lose your temper. Don't do anything foolish. Give him time to make a mistake. Don't rush. I already did. I blew up and I threatened him. Don't mention any of this to Mary. I won't. Well, I guess if he, uh, if he does get me fired, we'll just have to move back to the city. Hi. My name's Hatch, Myron Hatch. I want to talk to you about an associate of yours his name is John Westhill. Westhill? What do I know about him? Well, he's kind of become a big concern of mine, and I don't know what to do. I think I need your help. All right, come on in. Thank you. What's the 
matter. I just had a rough day, that's all. Look, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go out and get some air for a while. I've been cooped up in the office all day. I won't be late, okay? Well, I have a simple but effective plan, and I think... With a little help from you, he's not going to bother either of us again. Thanks. What do you say we make a toast to John Westhill? <laughs> to Westhill, the last of them. <sighs> What's your plan, Mr. Hatch? Dr. Hatch. Dr. Hatch? I have a plan. I think it's foolproof. Foolproof? How? You'll see. We don't seem to be communicating here, Mr. Hatch, uh, Dr. Hatch. What exactly is it that you want me to do? You've already done it. We don't know what happened to him, and no one's seen him since the Japanese reception last week. We've been calling him every day. And he still hasn't turned up? Nah, hey, he'll just show up in a couple of days with a major hangover, like the last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do have to thank Bishop for one thing. If he hadn't hired me, I would have missed out on a wonderful romance. Oh. Am I missing a uh, celebration? Myron, uh, what brings you here? Well, they say this is the best steak place in town, so here I am. Well, um, why'd you join us? No, I don't want to impose. I oh, know, please, we insist. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Myron, uh, Maury. Rebecca. Hi. Hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Mary. I'm Iron. Aren't you Dr. Hatch, the obstetrician? I'm afraid that's me, yeah. I wanted to come see you when I was pregnant, but you were unavailable. Is Mary lucky enough to be your patient? No, I'm not that fortunate, but she's in very good hands. Anyway, pretty soon Mary's going to be the mother of a bouncing baby boy. Hey, yeah. hey, that is something worth drinking to, huh? To John and Mary's son. A boy. <laughs> There's an accident. John. He announces the sex of our baby after I asked him not to. And you call that an accident. He just probably forgot. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, our neighbor, Myron Hatch. Oh, yes, he's a friend of ours, but my wife's afraid he's creeping around the house in the middle of the night. Now, that's ridiculous. Whose side are you on? I'm on your side. No, you're not on my side. You're on his side. I'm your wife. Why aren't you on my side?
Dream, that's all. I'm thirsty. Okay, I'll get you some water. Day now. I came over to apologize about last night. I don't know, I must have been out of my mind. I mean, I'm, I feel so stupid, you know, that I revealed this. It's all right. It's not that important. Listen, baby, you know, today's a good day. We could go upstairs and then we could clean my things out of the attic. Why don't you come by on the weekend? John will give you a hand. Sure. What's wrong? What is it? I've been sick all day. Why didn't you call me? I would have come home. It's okay. Just help me up to bed, okay? Okay, okay. Nice. That's it. How is she? Uh, well, she's okay now. She's got me worried, though. She's sick all the time. Yeah, I'm amazed what women go through to have children. 
You're telling me? God knows I could never do it. Oh, shoot. Hello? Yes, Lieutenant Crow. Well, there's not much I can add to what Rebecca already told you. Sure, you can go by the office anytime. Right. Bye bye. Anything wrong? Nah, just that, uh, you know, my boss, that guy Bishop I was telling you about, he hasn't been to the office for the last couple of days and hasn't been returning his calls, so we thought we'd better call the police, you know? He's probably out on a drinking binge somewhere. Let's hope he sobers up. <laughs> How are we feeling? Better. I don't care if I'm sick every day. As long as the baby's okay, you know? You're not gonna be sick every day, and the baby is gonna be fine. Okay. Want some soda? Yeah. Mr. Westdale, mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Come on in, have a seat. What can I do for you? I was told by some of your associates that uh, just before Mr. Bishop disappeared that uh, you and he had a dispute. Well, yes, we, um, it's a difference of opinion, that's all. And that uh, Mr. Bishop had recommended your dismissal because of some embarrassing incident with your Japanese partners? What are you suggesting, Lieutenant? Oh, I, I'm not suggesting anything, Mr. Westill. I'm hoping it's just a coincidence. taking your vitamin supplements? I've been meaning to. It's not a question of meaning to take. They're very good for you and they're good for the baby. There's 30 capsules in there in month's supply. I'll take one every morning. About a nickel for every pregnant lady that was frightened by the needle and I'd be a, a rich man. John, John, there's somebody in the hall. Can I help you? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. There's nothing strange here, Mary. Look, different batch numbers. They were made on different days, so there may be slight changes in color, but the contents are the same. But it's not just morning sickness. I'm starting to feel sick all of the time. I know this sounds crazy. But I'm sure Dr. Hatch is doing something to me. Mary, do you realize what you're saying? Yes. OK, would it make you feel better if I sent some of these capsules down to the lab to be tested? Would you? 
But if the results confirm that they're both just ordinary vitamins, can we forget all of these suspicions once and for all? Yeah. Then that's what we'll do. Thanks. Oh. Nurse, some water, please. You shouldn't try and stand up so quickly. Mm. I'm not going to lose this one, too, am I? Of course not. You're going to be just fine. And so is your baby. Baby? Dog. What? Myron's 
got my dog. Hold on a second. Hold on. Just talk to me. How do you know he's got your dog? I heard him. You heard him? What do you mean you heard him? I was in the basement. I you heard him. You broke into Myron's yes. basement? Yes, I broke into the basement. Okay. Okay, we'll go over. We'll have a look. All right? But if baby's not there, we forget about this. You understand? Uh huh. Hi. Hi, Myron. We, uh, we can't seem to find Mutt, and uh, we just want to know if you might have seen him. No, I haven't seen him. Give me my dog. Mary seems to think that, uh, that maybe he might have come by here. You're not here. Give me my dog, or I'm going to come in and take him. Take a look. is in there. There's no dog in there, Mary, believe me. The dog is in there, Myron. Open this door. The dog's not in there. You've got to... Give me my dog! I promise you, there's no dog. It's formaldehyde. Get her outside in the air. Me sooner. How is she? Um, she's still in shock, but uh, she's gonna be okay. And the baby? He's fine. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah. Must have been those guys I got breaking into my car. She came so close to losing it. If I cash those no, don't, kids. Don't, don't stop now. Just think for a minute. Thank God that you, Mary's fine and the baby's all right. Dr. Weyburn, how is she? She's fine. She can go now. But you're going to have to pay special attention to her, Mr. Westhoff. She's in a very fragile state. On a shock like that, we may not be so lucky. You might want to take her away for a while. She needs a lot of peace and reassurance. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll do that. Good. Well, you have my number if there's any complications. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll drop by later. Okay. Dr. Weyburn. Dr. Weyburn. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you, but did, uh, did Mr. Westhill, did he say anything about the incident that happened at my house last night? Yes, he did. <laughs> I don't know what to do now, because I feel like it puts me in a delicate position. Well, I understand your concern, Dr. Hatch. But if you want my advice, don't do anything. I think I found a solution. What's that? Well, for some reason, she thinks that you tampered with the vitamin supplement she was taking. How on earth can she think a thing like that? Well, she's under a lot of stress. Anyway, I suggested that we have the pills analyzed. I called down to the lab a while ago and asked them to put a rush on it. We should have the results by this evening. I think that when she sees that they're just vitamins, it'll convince her. Anyway, if you don't mind, Dr. Hatch, I've been up half the night. I've still got a full day ahead of me. I understand. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, what's this? Zachary Bishop, TriPoint Software. That's your boss, isn't it? He's never been in this car. What's the matter? problems with Bishop. Day of the presentation, he set me up to look like an idiot. So I blew up and I threatened him. Anyway, he's recommended that they fire me. This all happened just before he disappeared. And police know all about it. So they're asking me questions. Myron about this. Do you think he planted the watch? <laughs> Look, I know everyone in this town thinks Myron's a nice guy. Nobody knows anything about him. John, those kids did not kill baby. Myron did it. He wanted to shock me. He wanted me to have a miscarriage. Do you understand? John, I think he's crazy. And somebody somewhere must know about him. Just have to find them. Oh, John. Burlington boy, 12-year-old Myron Hatch Jr. was orphaned this week following a double tragedy. His mother, Claire Elizabeth Hatch, 34, wife of the late Lieutenant Myron Hatch, died in childbirth Thursday afternoon at her home. The baby survived but died tragically of crib death three days later. Huh. Young Myron is now in the care of his aunt, Sylvia Norton. There's something about that aunt. I mean, maybe she's still alive, you know? See, I think this is her. Well, it says here, Mr. and Mrs. Franco Bartoli. The newspaper article said Miss Sylvia Norton. Well, maybe she got married. Bart. 
Toli. I know that name from somewhere. Wait a minute. Yes. Bartoli. Sony Horizons, it sounds like a retirement home. Let's find out. Dear Myron, you're all I have now. Love, Aunt Sylvia. She dictates the letters to me and I send them, but it's sad she never gets a reply. The lady in the wheelchair. I'm Mary Westhill, and uh, this is my husband, John. Hi. We brought you some candy and some flowers. I wonder if you can help us. We live in your sister's old house, next to your nephew, Myron. Myron. How is Myron? Why doesn't he come to visit me anymore? Why doesn't he call? Why doesn't he come to see me? Sylvia, I'm pregnant. And I think Myron's trying to hurt my baby. Myron's a bad boy. A bad, bad boy. Why is that? What has he done? Doesn't come to see me anymore. Doesn't write. Doesn't even phone. Yes, I know. Can you tell me something about that? Myron lost his family. The baby died. Can you tell me about the baby, Sylvia? How did it die? <laughs> Myron loved Claire. Never been happy since she died. What about the baby, Sylvia? How did it die? This is Claire's. Myron gave it to me. She's inside. A picture is inside with Myron's father. Would you like to see it? Yes, of course. But can you tell me how the baby died? Myron loved only Claire. Baby took Claire away from him. Sorry? Where is Myron, anyway? Never comes to to visit me. He never writes. Doesn't even call. Thank you, Sylvia. Thanks. Hi, Sylvia. Looks just like you. Hello, Dr. Weyburn. Oh, hi, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, long day. So what do you got for me? What? Are you sure? Did you run doubles? <sighs> OK, thanks.
Mrs. Westhill, Dr. Weyburn here. I have some important news. It seems that the vitamin... <laughs> No wonder he's been acting strange. Strange? John, he killed our dog. He's trying to make me lose the baby. It's a lot more than strange. You're right. What the hell is this? It's blocked here, I think. What's going on here? What's the problem? No problem, sir. We have a complaint. Uh, yeah, the drains are backed up, but we've got the problem solved now. Got it! few questions down at the station. You take our car and you follow me. We tell the police everything we know down at the station.
can't move my legs. No, no, no. No, no, please, no, 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 no. I would never hurt you. If I gave you a sedative, you won't feel anything. Byron? Be with you. And always be with you. 